Hey, Uncle from TacticalGamer.com here. Just finished up the tutorial on adding zone restriction. This one is about taking a script and running it as a function where you load the entire script in the memory first, and then you're going to uh, execute it and it'll run much quicker. Okay, so in the last tutorial, we had just set up this. Give you a quick demonstration. Uh, I didn't finish demonstration where I fixed the error that we fixed in the last video, so just so we all know what we're talking about here, how the script works. I basically have a trigger, uh, and if I enter that trigger zone, I'm going to get a warning that I've entered an unauthorized zone and then be killed for it. Right? So last time I tested this, I enter the zone, I get a sound, and the problem with it last time is when I leave the area, um, and if I enter the area again, I didn't get a second sound, but we fixed that error. And it's all good to go. Okay, and I would be killed if I didn't leave the zone. Okay, so let's get back out and change how we organized our scripts. So here was our script that we had used initially. So basically, let's take this script now. I'm just going to close it in here and go back to my file browser cut it. All right, let's create a new folder called functions. And in here, this is going to be a client function. Uh, it's just a nice way of organizing stuff that you know runs on the client, and which stuff are functions that you could create that only need to run on the server. It's really no difference as far as how they're going to function. It just helps you keep things organized as to what's what and keep it clear in your brain as you're working. So this I got from TGB uh, who is one of the uh, Tactical Gamer mission makers who got me onto using this type of thing. And I'm glad I did, and thanks, B. Uh, so let's go clients. All right, and then in there, I'm just going to paste that. But I need to change the name of the file name now to be fn underscore. Right? And it's just a convention file name structure that is going to uh, work with um, <clears throat> basically uh, turning this script into a function that's loaded into memory. Now in order to do this as well we need to uh, have a new thing called uh, cfg function dot sqf. I just delete all that. Alright, I'm going to edit that. Now, yes, I am going to cheat a little bit. Um, I happen to have one right here. So I'm going to copy that as a template, put it over here. Okay, so the class of the function is TG, and tag will be TG. The class is not going to be server, it's going to be clients. And the path to it is functions, and then a folder called clients. Right, and the class is going to be the name of that file, zone restrictor, right, but without fn underscore, right. So it is just zone restrictor, all right, and then two parentheses there, squiggly parentheses, whatever you call them, all right, and that's it. So we've created a class called clients, and we are going to load that script into memory so that we can call it, you'll be able to call it now by name by doing something like uh, call tg function and then zone restrictor. It is that easy to set up. All right, now this whole script, the zone restrictor script is going to be loaded into memory and when you execute that code line right here on anything, it will run without having to go read the script off the hard drive. It's quite awesome. So since I got this already typed out, I'm just going to copy that and I don't need it in that script. Save that up. And uh, now there's one last thing that we need. Okay. Uh, that is in, in order to initialize this whole function process and read these functions and load them into memory, we need to uh, include a line 
in the description.ext file at the beginning of our mission. Now that file I have not created yet. So, because up until this point I've been relying on the Eden editor to do all the stuff that used to be done by the description.ext file. So, new text document. Description. Ext. All right. And now... This is just one of those files that automatically loads when the mission starts anyway. So I'm going to open it up in Notepad. And instead of fumbling around in my Notepad window, I'm going to quickly go grab one of these that I know is already in one of my TVT scenarios, like um, something like this. So I'm just going to edit that. Hello. All right. So here is my TG functions right here. All right, it's got uh, some view distance script uh, that we use. I uh, can't remember the name of the community that does that. So I'm just going to copy that. All right, go to my new description.ext, paste that in, and I'm not running view distance script. I wouldn't on a TVT scenario because I want everybody to have the exact same view distance. So I just removed that from any TVT scenario. All right, so this line, loading this uh, function into the config functions, class, which you can only do once, okay? So wherever this is, sometimes when you edit other missions, your config functions uh, class needs to be defined once and once only. Um, I'm not sure if you can append to it, but in my experience so far, I haven't figured out how. So like I say, I'm not the expert, but uh, I can fumble around so I get make things, uh, make things work. Okay, at that point, this is going to call those functions, all right? It's going to, uh, if I go back to my there, it's going to open up that folder, run this config functions SQF, all right, which is going to load that script up into memory. We should be the same. Let's get back to the editor because we have to change how we, back into the editor, right? This is the trigger that we executed the, the uh, script from. So in this case, now, I am going to change it up and say, I still need to pass this trigger to my function. And I'm going to call. Uh, actually, I can't. I have to spawn. Because that script, the zone restrictor script, had sleep in it. Okay. Call is just going to call it up and execute it, like, immediately. Okay. Um, now... <laughs> Here's where the, the scripting gurus are going to say, hey, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, because I'm not quite sure. All I know is that when there's a pause or a sleep in a script, I have to use spawn. And uh, otherwise, if I want to call something that never has to pause and wait, um, you can use call. Call, I think, immediately executes the function uh, and basically waits for the function to complete, something like that. Spawn is it's going to spawn it as if it's just spawning a script, but it's going to pull it from memory and you don't have any control of, over whether that script is going to run before another process runs. It just gets added to the queue for the processor. So that's what I understand. Uh, I could be a little bit wrong. Comments are welcome. So spawn, uh, right, TG function, uh, zone restrictor. And that's it. That should do everything that we need. Okay, let's give this a run. I got that crazy civilian loadout from a few tutorials previous. Oh, something didn't work right. And here's my file. Config functions. Yep. HPP, that's why. That's it. That simple. Let's close it in here. Holy cow. You know, this is just so often the case with me. Um, just simply rushing through something and just forget the, the something so simple. HPP. There we go. All right, back to the editor. And now we'll get it. Whoa. Get out of there, buddy. All right. Now, you're not going to see a big drop on a script like this on because this is event driven. Um, anything that's taking up the processor time otherwise is in that trigger that was there that's just waiting for a blue four 
unit to enter it and it's you know it's trying to run every cycle um, so a trigger like that is is an imperfect way of doing it um, it'd be nice if there was a, an event way of doing it because the trigger is basically operating like a loop but um, anywho that is one way to take your scripts and if you had a, a bunch more and you start adding a lot more stuff to a mission and some of these scripts are a little bit heavier on their uh, on your processing cycle do this Turn them into functions, and you're going to see a drastic improvement in your mission performance. It's Uncle from TacticalGamer.com, and mission on.